Welcome to my zone online school. My name is teacher Mutsa. Get your education booklet in our daily newspaper, street sales, or at your school every Monday to Thursday for pre-primary up until grade three. The lessons are for listening or watching online. Inside the newspapers, there's an insert of the lesson booklet. Please cut the top of the lesson booklet with a pair of scissors and fold it for ready to use. But there is more. We are also available on our online platforms, MyZone and Zoshi Facebook pages, and in addition, our website, Zoshi Online. to my turn online school. My name is Teacher Mutsa and thank you so much for joining me today. Our theme this week is plants. And before we get into any lessons boys and girls, we know that we need to sanitize. So let us take our sanitizer and we rub inside our hands, around our hands, in between our fingers, on our wrists and our fingertips too. Make sure your hands are dry before you touch anything else. For today's lesson, we'll be talking about plants and numbers. For our lesson now, boys and girls, let's all turn to page six. On page six, we have a very fun activity. It's going to be our job to collect at least two leaves and two seeds. After we collect our leaves and seeds, we need to paste them in the spaces provided. And then we can talk about them with our teacher or our parents. Now let's take a look at what I have found so that you can go ahead and find yours as well. Now I have managed to find a few of these leaves and seeds. As you can see, my seeds are on one side and my leaves are on the other side as well. Now leaves are not always green like this one. They change color, especially when they're about to fall off. So this one is a leaf that has fallen off and it has changed its color. But the one that is still in the tree was nice and green. Then I went ahead and looked for my seeds. Now seeds are very easy to find. All we have to do is look at the ground. <laughs> but if you don't find any seeds in the ground, that's okay. Some plants still have seeds inside of them. This seed came from a pumpkin. So the pumpkin, which is a delicious vegetable, had these seeds in them. So I went ahead and pasted those seeds. Then this one comes from the sunflower. Remember the sunflower is the beautiful yellow flower that loves to follow the sun and even kind of looks like the sun as well. So I have pasted my one, two seeds and then my one, two leaves. I'd like you to please go out and try and find your own. Try to make them as different as possible. Then use glue to paste, but make sure that you are still staying safe. When you're done with that one, you can move to the next page, page seven. 
on page seven, we are going to be tracing. And the tracing we're going to do today is for numbers. Now, which numbers can you see? Let's see. I can see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. So, I want you to please take your pencil or your color and you and I are going to try and trace the numbers. Let's take a look at the board. Now, I have the same numbers you do in your book. We're going to start with the number one. Now, the number one is very easy to do. We start at the top line and we go down in a straight line, going to the bottom line. Then we are done. There we go. So that is the number one. The next number that you can see in the same line as number one is number two. Number two starts with a little curve. So we need to also start there, right here. And we go round, touching the top line, down, going across, and then a sharp turn to make its legs at the back. That is our number two. Let's take a look at number three. Number three also has a curve, but not just one, two curves. It goes one, comes back, two. So it also has a curved head and curved legs as well. Let's trace. We start and we touch the top line round, take your time, remember the rules of tracing, then we come back and down, touching the bottom line. Now remember, tracing is fun, but we need to make sure that we follow the rules. First one being that we take our time and then we press our pencil hard on the paper. Then the last one is to follow all the trace dots or lines. The next one we have is number four. Now number four has a corner. So when we get here, we can go across in a straight line. Let's start at the top line and we go down, stop, across, and we lift up our pencil and we make the last part of our four. Good job, everyone. So far, we have done one, two, three, and now four. Let's go on to number five. Number five has a flat head, a neck, and a big belly. So we're going to try and do number five. We start at the top and we say, a cross with his head, down, take your time, with his neck, and round with his big belly. There we go, and that is number five. Make sure you are on your trace lines so that everything looks smart and correct. Let's try number six. Number six is very easy because it, it's just a loop round. We start at the top and we go round, down, touching the bottom line, and we connect it. There we go. That's number six. Number seven, we go across and down. Very simple, starting from the top line. Number eight, I know for some of you is a little bit tricky. So we're going to start at the top here and we're going to go round, crisscrossing, down, touching the bottom line, up, crisscrossing, and back to where we started. That's the eight that I would like you to try. 
Then the last number is nine and nine has its line all to itself. We're going to start at the top and we're going to say down. We lift up our pencil and round. There we go. And these are our numbers. I know that you can do this one, but I want you to take your time. Tracing is fun. So after you go and look for your leaves and seeds, please try and do this exercise by yourself. Remember to take your time and also press your pencil down hard on the paper and follow each trace line. I'll see you soon after the advert break. Follow us on My Zone Facebook Active Kids to watch your daily lesson and other fun activities with Zoe and Zoshi. Boys and girls, we have now come to the end of our lesson and I hope you had fun. Remember, if you're not sure what to do or you got confused along the way, that's okay. You can always ask an adult for help, but make sure that you finish your work by yourself. So now that we are done, it's important for us to sanitize. Remember, sanitizing is not the only way we can stay safe from any germs or coronavirus. We can also practice good social distancing by checking beside us and in front of us. I wonder where Soshi is. I haven't seen him the whole day. <laughs> Are you hiding from me, Soshi? <laughs> so, from Soshi and I, we would like to say thank you for joining us today and goodbye. <laughs>